So this is a clip on the four elements. The four elements are a way of thinking about four different ways of being or four different types of people. So while we change across situations, we have a preference normally for one or two of these types. So this is a system for better understanding people. It's not about putting them in boxes because of course we're more complex. This is it's just a map. Uh, it's a map that's found in Eastern and Western culture as well as indigenous cultures around the world. Let's look at how fire is embodied. So fire is about going out, expressive. It can be quite quick. It has a kind of sharp triangular feel to it. Fire breathing might be more in the chest. <sighs> that kind of breathing, yeah? Fire. So you might need more fire in your body when you have to be fierce or expressive or, or just when you need more energy to put it out there. Let's look at how water's embodied. So water is about relaxation, going with the flow, uh, being flexible being receptive. In the body, the breathing tends to be quite low, usually in the back. Um, the muscular tone is soft, and it's about that watery, moving, flexible quality. You might need more water when you need to. I can be flexible to listen to a situation, uh, to adapt, yeah? to roll around things. So when you need more water in your body. Now let's look at how earth is embodied. So earth is a square feeling, it's about stability, it's about holding your ground, having standards. In the body it tends to be breathing with the belly, having the legs slightly bent, this feeling of pushing down, earth, having roots. Earth is very good for standing your ground, for getting practical, getting back down to earth if you've been uptight or head in the clouds, getting right back down to the practical base of things. Lastly, let's look at air. So air, as one might expect, has a, a lightness to it. Uh, it's embodied usually a breathy kind of up breathing. Um, very relaxed, but, but light. There's a freedom to air. There's a responsiveness to what's happening. And also um, a joy and a creativity in, 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 its, in its lightness with air. Air is very good for freedom, creativity, lightness. There's a, there's a joy to, to air floating around. There's a joy to that. And also just responding even more than water, responding completely to the situation. 